Welcome to Make Easy. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how function processor work in any programming language. We'll elaborate this function processor with the example of QBasic program. So watch till the end and understand how function processor work and you can write any program in QBasic using the function if you understand this concept. Okay, so before we begin, you should understand why implementing a function procedure in QBasic programming language or in any programming language, you need to do three things. First is declaration of the function. Next is calling function. And the last is function definition. So declaration means you should declare what is the name of the function, what are the parameters. Parameters means simply what are the need for the function. Like if you are calculating average of three number you need three numbers so you should define or declare parameter after that calling a function you should call a function to do certain tasks by assigning the values to the function like three numbers and after calling the function definition will execute function definition means actual code to do that tax let's say you are calculating area of circle so actual code will write in the definition or you can say function procedure or you can say sub procedure this is function definition where actual code to do that certain tax is written. Okay, so we'll discuss with this example, very simple example to display average of any three numbers in QVC. So at the top, you can say declare function a, b, z, bracket a, comma, b, comma, c. This is declaration of function. This is what declaration of function. In the declaration, we should write declare. This is keyword. Another keyword is function to declare a function. This is also keyword. And we have written here a, b, z. I have written this a, b, z function name because we are calculating average. So you should write function name related to that. So you can write average or a, b, z, your choice. In the bracket, you can see a comma b comma c. This is called parameter. Parameter means need for this function. We have to calculate average of three numbers. We need three numbers. So I have written here a comma b comma c. These are three variables which will store three values to calculate average of three number. So this is declaration. That's it. Now CLS. CLS is used to clear the data of the output screen. And you must be wondering like why I have written here a b c because these are variable to store the values and if you are writing abc here so the default value for numeric variable in qbsc is 0 0 0 so i haven't taken input so value is 0 0 0 so cls clear the data of the output screen after that enter any three numbers input statement is used to take input from user and if we write input any three number a comma b comma c user will enter some value let's assume that user entered 10 20 30 so First number 10 is stored in A, second number 20 is stored in B, and third number 30 is stored in C. So after taking input, we can call the function. This is what function call. Calling a function. Function name is ABZ and the parameters are ABC. You can see as it is. You can copy this same from here. So ABZ, A, comma B, comma C. By writing this, we are calling a function. When you call the function, we are passing this value, a comma b comma c value. What are they? That is 10, 20, 30 because we have taken the input. User entered 10, 20, 30. So while calling a function, we are passing 10, 20, 30 to the function. Which function? A, B, Z. So after calling the function, the control will go directly from here to here where function definition is written. Actual code to calculate is written. So a, b, c is also written here function a, b, z comma a, b, c. You can copy same from here like function a, b, z a comma b comma c while writing a definition or function procedure. You should copy that. So here you can see a, b, c. This is also variable which will receive the value passed from the main module. That is this is main module here 10, 20, 30. So this a will receive 10, b will receive 20 and c will receive 30 in the same way how it is passed from here. So this value will be received from here to here so we receive a value so you can do the calculation so while calculating i have written here a b z this is the function name and if you are using function name then you are returning a value to the main module 
so 10 plus 20 plus 30 divided by 3 will be 20 so by writing this we are returning value to the main module where is main module here is the main module where we are going to return the value from where the function is called so from where function is called function is called from here this line so the return value will come in this place so in this place exactly the return value will come so return value is 20 because average of this number is 20 so from here function return a value and come in this place and now you can see why i have written this x because we need to store the returned value so we are storing this return value 20 average that is average value in x so we store the value now we need to print the average so i am writing, writing here print the average is x so value of x is 20 so the average is x that means 20 will be our output so after this we have written here end so our program execution end here so in this way this function procedure works so the output screen will be look like this the average is 20 and the input numbers are like this hope you understand this concept please click the like button click the subscribe button and share with your friends and if you have any type of confusion you can comment below or you can watch this same video again and i know you will be 100 percent clear about this have a great day and see you in the next video